Keith Hartstein, President and CEO of John Hancock Funds. Thank you for joining us tonight. It's my pleasure. All right, great. Um, so just to get started, uh, what do you consider your firm's biggest achievement in the past year? Uh, actually, the biggest achievement in the past year has been in the last two months. We've okay. had consecutive record sales months oh, okay. for open-end funds. So um, in the face of an extraordinarily uh, challenging market, I mean, if you told me in December the market would be down what is down in the first two months of the year, right. and we would we would have back-to-back -back record months in sales, I would tell you you're, you're absolutely crazy. But right. things seem to be working well. What do you attribute that to? A couple of, of outstanding performing funds and also the expansion, the wholesale expansion that we put in place a couple years ago. Okay. Um, about three years ago, we, we ramped up the number of wholesalers from 29 and over two years went to 80 wholesalers in the field. Wow. And that's beginning to pay dividends now. Oh, great, great, great. What's your uh, biggest concern about the mutual fund industry right now? The biggest concern really is in the closed end space. Okay. Um, there's a, a freeze up in the auction rate preferred market that has leveraged closed end funds in, in a state of turmoil. Okay. Um, clients who invested in what they thought were liquid securities are finding that there is no market. Right. They can't sell them. They're getting an attractive rate of interest, but they can't, they can't <laughs> right. sell them. And so that's caused some, a great deal of concern. And I can tell you that at John Hancock Funds up to the, our parent company, Manulife, that we're involving the highest levels of the organization and seeking a solution that will kind of free up this market right. and restore okay. some liquidity. Oh, that's great, okay. And uh, where do you think the market's headed in the next year or so? Um, I think the first six months of this year are going to be very challenging. If you look at historical patterns of market movement during presidential election years, mm -hmm. the first six months of the year tend to be very choppy, very sideways or down. Mm -hmm. uh, the market hates uncertainty, and right now there's a great deal of uncertainty. Oh, for sure. And later in the year, as, as things become clearer about the outcome of the election, I think then you'll see the market begin to rebound as it also anticipates economic recovery. Okay. Okay, great. All right. Well, Keith, thank you so much for your time. It's my pleasure. And you have a great evening this evening. Thank you very much.